right, man. I need y'all to like, comment, share. On the shirt. Niggas think I fell off, nigga. We averaging a band of video. You feel me? Panic. I'm not going to overreact. Okay. I'm going to try to keep my cool here. I don't like this. I'm not acting like I'm happy about this. But I did see R.J. Barrett shoot better than 51% from the, against the field against Miami this season. I did see the Knicks win three of the four meetings against them this season. I did see Jalen Brunson shoot better than 50%, even with Jimmy Butler guarding him when they played during this regular season. I take into that, those stuff, those things into account. Get off they did. Hey, Stephen A. Get off they motherfucking dicks, my nigga. Get off they dicks, nigga. The Knicks ain't gonna never win a championship, nigga. The Clippers and the Knicks will never win another championship in history. Sorry, but not sorry. I'm thinking about the worst offense in basketball entering the postseason. I'm talking about the Miami Heat amongst playoff teams, and they ended up being the best. Like, bro, look, hey, look, everybody like this nigga's happy. This is the first year he's able to even say some shit like this. Because that's how the Milwaukee Bucks made them look. Well, damn it, the Knicks ain't the Buc Milwaukee Bucks. Not with Tom Thibodeau coaching this team. They ain't going to let Jimmy Butler average 37. They ain't going to let four or five different dudes shoot better than 40% from three-point range. I am not happy that Julius Randle is not, it may not be available, but I have faith. And it's just a game. I believe he's a rough rider. Worst case scenario, he'll be gone for game for game one. If that happens, I don't think it'll matter. New York Knicks are still winning this series. Are you a calming voice in this scenario for Mr. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, no. Michael Wilbon? <laughs> no. Or <laughs> one of the things that Jalen Brunson has said, he talked about bodies available. The Knicks don't have that six, seven, eight, nine wing defender to really concentrate on Jimmy Butler defensively. They don't have that. And you're going to throw bodies at him. Well, one of those bodies, it stands to reason, is going to be Julius Randle. But that was before he was injured. And now, look, he, from what we just heard from Woj, to me, that sounds like out for two games, right? I'm not going to equate him with Kawhi Leonard. He's not, he doesn't have that kind of impact. But, you know, he's key to that team. He may not have been key to that team against Cleveland, whose bigs didn't show, but that's not Miami. And I know that you're right about Tibbs, Stephen A. I mean, Tibbs understands how to sort of cover like a football coach. He knows Jimmy Butler. And he knows Jimmy Butler. Those two, but, but those two know each other. Jimmy Butler knows Tibbs. He played and practiced with him every day for years in two situations. So, no, Julius Randle, what, who was it who said, you can't lose your best players? Who, who was it who talked about losing your best players? You can't win. Mm -hmm. You can't win in the playoffs losing your best players. Julius Randle is no worse than the second best player, Jalen, on that team? Here's my problem, Stephen A. If Julius Randle was healthy, I would pick your New York Knickerbockers to win this series. But? but for a guy who basically is durable, that's what we love about him besides his productivity. For him not only to miss games later in the regular season, but to now miss playoff games, I heard what you heard from Woj. That sounds like he's going to miss more than one game. And unfortunately, those are two home games. So if you drop one of those games, if not both of those games... That will not happen. I would take the Miami Heat at that point if I was a betting man. Now, if I was a rooting man, you're going <laughs> to ride with your squad regardless. Wait, now, no, no. But if you was a betting man and Julius Randle was going to miss one, maybe I'm not games, picking him. To look, well, well, let me retort. Okay, cool. Last time I checked, Tyler Hero's out. He is. Okay, he's out. So I take that into consideration as well. Gabe Vince has had a nice series. You understand? It's, it's nice to see Tim Dun Duncan Robinson out there making a contribution. Kyle Lowry, you know, you're lifting them. I get all that. But the fact of the matter is, we expect the Knicks defense to be considerably better than what we saw from the Milwaukee Bucks. We certainly expect the coaching to be better. And with Tyler Hero out, you lose Tyler Hero, I lose Julius Randle. Tyler Hero we'll don't equal Julius Randle. I understand that. I understand that. <laughs> but Julius Randle can tend to be erratic sometimes. The, the Miami Heat tough, bro. Why are you seeing that, bro? The they they were just in the finals. It's like the Bucks were just in the finals in the past three, four years. They went to the finals. The Knicks. I don't even know if they even ever got out the first round in the past five, ten years. I'm not being funny. I promise to God, I'm not being funny. Uh, You're gonna say as great as he's uh, been. I mean, listen, it's a game.
And, and one game at a time. And Jimmy's been buckets and unstoppable. He's when not you talk about defense, But when you talk about defense, let's think about who he was doing this against. Okay. Drew Holiday, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and uh, Lopez, three of the top all-NBA defenders in the league. How wild is that, that Stephen A is saying our defense is not the Milwaukee Bucks defense? I know. The That's what I was saying, like, Giannis? Drew Holiday is the best on-ball defensive player in the league besides Kawhi, besides I was about to say Brian, but I don't, I don't know if y'all gonna bash me. But you feel what I'm saying though? Let me let me calm down. Let me calm down. Milwaukee. That's what happens when you lose Bucks. to an AC. Thank you for watching ESP. That's what happens when you lose to an AC. Nah, it'd be like that though, man. But I need y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe. And y'all need to comment under here and tag Stephen A. Smith and tell him that the Knicks will never make it, bro. I'm sorry. Like, he just hoping, he like, man, get past the second round. Oh, I just want an Eastern Conference Finals. Like, I don't even care if we even go to the finals. I just want to be in the Eastern Finals. You know, give us some type of finals. But anyways, man, like, comment, and share, man. 